Hi guys, um, today is going to be kind of a uh, combination video. Uh, it's going to be the uh, beginnings of the overclock on the uh, Gateway GT5012 and also answering a question that I had received from uh, You Can Download This um, asking about uh, software that he can use to overclock with uh, because his motherboard doesn't support it. It's a very common problem with boards like uh, Dell, Gateway, Compact. They don't give you any BIOS features to uh, change your front side bus, change your RAM, really to control much of anything on the motherboard. Um, I came across a really good article that explains about the uh, PLL chips that are on the motherboard. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the uh, description of this article so you can kind of read through it and it'll explain to you how you can find your PLL chip, write the number down, um, that basically will tell you uh, what you can do with it if you can overclock that board or not. There is a program that you can use to uh, reset your PLL settings. That's what we're going to be using on the uh, gateway. I know this isn't going to come out very well because of the refresh rate on this monitor but uh, we're using the, the set front side bus 2.1.97 is the version on it. I had to use speed fan to uh, monitor temperatures and to change our fan speeds on the uh, in the computer, the CPU one and the uh, rear fan and then we're using CPU Z to uh, verify the CPU settings, um, what the RAM is running at. Uh, first thing I did on this board was I went out and uh, downloaded the latest BIOS from Intel. It is an Intel motherboard even though it is gateway. Um, so I flashed the BIOS, converted it to straight Intel to add a few features to the BIOS that gateway doesn't give you. Unfortunately there isn't much there as far as overclocking. It's still got to be done pretty much all in software. But at least it gives you a cleaner version than the uh, stripped down one that Gateway gives you. So this will be the basic tools that we're going to use for the overclock. The same type of method will work on, uh, you know, Dell, Gateway, Compact, any any board that uh, has to be clocked with software. So uh, we'll get this up and posted for now, and then I'll do a follow up. Uh, later once we get the first overclock. So far I've just pushed it from uh, 2.8 gigahertz up to 3 gigahertz just playing around with it a little bit so we'll uh, get some benchmarks on it and see if we, how far we can push it. Okay thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and comment. Thank you.